Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash the Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Hello, nerds. You're listening to an episode on the Nerdcore podcast feed. If you're feeling generous, please consider pledging to a tier on our Patreon at patreon.com slash the Nerdcore. We have tiers as low as $1 per month. Thanks so much, and enjoy the episode. Yeah. Welcome. The Nerd Chicano Show, episode 47. Now available everywhere on YouTube now, because all our episodes are available on there. As always, is the Nerd Chicano and my wonderful co host, the Brown Bambino himself, my land lover. And he is here to uh, get down with our guest. And uh, yeah, br- say hello first, Luis. Hi there. That, that's all I got. Hi, everybody. Sorry, sorry, I'm, sorry I've been gone. Yeah. yeah, I'm back. I'm back. This show never has guests, but we've, well, you know, sometimes we've had them. We had an array of other guests, you know, we've had yeah. Kayla Senange from Let the Right Films In when I did a review on here back then when this show was more based on talking about movies and stuff. And we had right. the bad CGI sharks when we just wanted to fuck around and interview somebody. And, uh, but now we've, we've, we brought back a familiar face and you guys can't see him because we're not doing this on a video format. But, uh, this man made it possible to get all our episodes on YouTube though. That's pretty cool. So, uh, you know, it's as always, it's Random Germ, the only honorary Mexican in our team. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, everybody. I've I've gone over to the, the nerdy Chicano side. Yeah, you in the hot yeah. seat now, boy. This is the territory. This is our territory. This is the big dog territory. Hey, hey, I feel comfortable. <laughs> I feel comfortable. Meow. I'm not too sure if I should do the dog or the chimpanzee myself. You do the chimpanzee really well, dude. Both at the same time. <laughs> reminds me of at least it reminds me of the office. You know when uh, when they invite Andy into the uh, into the the inner circle with uh, D'Angelo, and he mm-hmm. goes, "Right, what's up, man, Gabe?" <laughs> <laughs> Wolf pack for life. Yeah, he goes. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah but how's everybody doing today doing Less. well doing well ain't dead ain't dead oh there you go there you go yeah any day any day above the ground is a good day yeah Hell yeah i woke up my joints don't hurt i'm good <laughs> <laughs> my joints don't hurt <laughs> <laughs> oh man hey, hey there's some days it's like it's like why is my left arm numb and I'm like oh because i slept on it funny. it's not because i'm having a heart attack thank god yeah no man you know what i've really been g- happening you know what's been happening to me that i've really been hating what i i've 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 slept on my arm but for some reason it hurts my teeth so i wake up with like my jaw kind of like weird and it hurts to chew down uh-huh. dude and it hurts like a bitch man have you been punching yourself in the face or something? Right Shut now? up, like, man. Wait, yeah. Yeah. What is yeah. Like, what it's is like that? if you sleep I've like this, if you sleep like this, and in the uh-huh. morning you kind of wake up and it's like hurting, man. Are you are you falling asleep at your desk? Fuck like, you, man. Yeah. Go to bed. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, yeah. Brad. <laughs> hey, yo, you invited have, me on. <laughs> yo, have you ever gotten spell sleep in your hand? But like when you wake up and you realize you, you like slept on it, and you try to move it, you literally can't. Like, no, man. literally, you grab your other hand to pick up that hand, and then it goes numb, and it just falls down. Here's and, a then you, and then you get worried for a second because you're like, dude, my my hand's got to be amputated now. Have yeah. you ever thought of it? Yeah, yeah I've dude. Been, I've been intensely, deathly scared of that. Bro, I'm going to yeah. have to have Brenda put lotion on my stump. <laughs> oh, damn, boy. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> on the stump. Ooh. Wow. Ooh, man, yeah, damn, bro. Ashy she the classy. Ashy she yeah. the classy. Yeah, you're right there, Brad. Uh, look, Luis, we we uh we we've done some changes since we uh we last did an episode. Uh, Luis, okay. what's it called? Uh, you want? Can you tell me what you think this noise is? And I'm gonna go ahead and play it right now. All right, go ahead. All right, listen closely. Yeah. Did you what? hear it? No, one more time. It's moaning. No, no, listen closely. Alright. <laughs> it's moaning. Somebody's moaning. 
What is that? Are you sure? You want? Is that your final answer, bro? Somebody's moaning. Yeah, that's, that's your Brad final. Moaning. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't me. That ain't me, bro. They... <laughs> no, what is that? All right. Well, uh, this is basically the show that nobody listens to. So I'll go ahead and give it out now because I keep testing everybody. Hey, with it. hey, that's not true. This is this, this, this is Brad's favorite show. Than, this gets more listens than most of the other shows. I know, which is weird, man. <laughs> oh, man. So uh, Eric sent me this <clears throat> video of his friends trying to wake him up. And uh -huh. when they get him and they turn him around, he does this noise, dude. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I think your brother had been drinking that night too. I think that might have been the case. I don't know, dude. I don't know, man. I'm not going to answer that or not. But uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, Brad, do you make those noise when you drink? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, oh man, I'm gonna go ahead and be. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and be Ooh. King Kong today. Damn, it's not gonna be King Kong anymore, bro. It's gonna be Brad versus Godzilla next year, bro. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh my god dude this is terrible there, there, there so so in college there were days and i've done this multiple times i don't know if my subconscious wants to put me in a safe place but i will lock myself in the fucking bathroom oh like god. i will get blackout oh, drunk and go to the bathroom and lock myself in there and it's happened like three Christ. times <laughs> damn dude college wasn't a college wasn't a game for you man we, we didn't play we didn't play man like if it was free alcohol it was gone yeah, well, I mean that that that's that's the '60s for you, man, right? You know, keg stands, and everything. Jesus beer, beer bongs. Now we got drone beer bongs, and that's awesome. Yeah, drone. <laughs> drone beer bongs. Dear, wow. dear God, <laughs> Luis, we haven't I haven't haven't heard from you in a minute. How you been, bro? You doing anything good in I, school? I've been all right, man. Now you know I've been starting my my rounds at the hospital now. Yeah. Uh, worked at the sexy nurse at the ER. Yeah. And no, I'm sorry, not the ER, the ICU and the medical surgical unit. All right. So I've been doing those two things. So that's been pretty fun. Yeah. Um, a lot of intense shit. Like a mm -hmm. lot of responsibility, I mean. Um but you know, obviously I can't talk about specific patients, but all I can say is very, very sometimes very stressful. But you know, it, yeah. it's it's interesting though. No, uh, hopefully no one was bleeding from the dick. Ooh, yeah. ooh, oh man. That is a yeah. horror story for me. Like, that? if I started bleeding from the dick, I, I'd be like, yep, yep, go in the ER. Go in the, no, <laughs> dude. When, it's right there. Well, I mean, the bleeding from the dick could mean very many things, you know. You know, uh, what's it called? A UTI, right? Sure, yeah. Or, you know, if you're a, if you anybody's ever watched uh, Antichrist from Lars von Trier, you know that... Uh, Bleeding from the dick could mean that your girlfriend just fucking hit your your balls your ball sack with a fucking weight, so you oh. know that could be one of. The <laughs> sure. Yeah, H highly recommend everybody watch Antichrist uh, if you want to see. I forget what military movie it is I watched, but when they did the STD testing, oh my and god, and they swabbed the inside of the dick. Oh my that, god, that is like horror. No, oh, that is like, no, no. Like, no. I, I'm like no. <laughs> Oh my oh, god! Like, like a cotton swab. Yeah, like, like cotton. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they just go <laughs> put that shit inside the pee hole. No, bro, no. Uh, now, and now you know. No lube, <laughs> no though. I I really <laughs> hope no kids listen to our podcast, man. I really hope they don't. You know, I I doubt they do. I I think they're all listening to H three H three or well, you know well, something else. Well, you 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 know if we if we play this off, I don't know if Luis Luis has seen Dolomite yet. <laughs> or Dolomite is my yeah, name. Yeah. But, but we're putting devil logos over all our shit and just sending that off to all the little kids so they listen to yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's a good movie. Dude, that was good, man. Fucking Murphy. I like, and, I like that movie. I lo yeah, loved I like, it, man. Loved Eddie it. Murphy is back. Yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah uh, he's, he's, he's making the come Return to America or Come to America 2. What is yeah, it? Coming to America 2, man. Yeah, that one. Yeah, because because I just saw a video of Will Smith, Martin yeah. Lawrence, Eddie Murphy, and Wesley Snipes. Little Left, and Wesley Snipes. Yeah, yeah, I can't believe that Wesley's gonna be in it, man. I'm 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 so glad to see Wesley back in movies. Yeah, you know he didn't do anything stupid. You know he just you know didn't pay his taxes. <laughs> That's kind of on the stupid it's range there because yeah, they pay, get their money. It's the government. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, and it just fell off the radar, right? Wesley Snipes after like. Because he was like super hot. He was like, yeah, after the whole, you know, Blade movies and yeah. stuff like yeah. that. And then he just. After the whole jail and stuff. And he was like man. a big character. 
in jail. He was in jail? Yeah, because he didn't pay his taxes. Well, and oh. then then he's just super difficult to work with. Yeah. Right? That's the perception he got. Oh wow! Makes me wonder how you you know how you worked with Del Toro because I can't imagine anybody ever getting like you know like very uh, aggressive with Guillermo. Well, I mean, look, think about it. Like, if he was like the one of the biggest actors of his time, like he's not gonna take crap from anybody. So the ego went to his head, and so maybe that's why it was so difficult to work with him. Yeah. But now that he figured out, you know, I need some money, now he's like yeah, kind of like, oh, I'm back in the movies. <laughs> he might. He, Maybe maybe a little bit of humbleness hit him. Yeah, exactly. Or he watched a military movie where they put the con swab in his in the wiener. Like, I don't I don't want to do that role. Nope. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> anything? Any other military movies you watch, Brad? Where they include con swabs and wieners? No, no. The only that's the only one I've I've seen. I forget what the fuck it was, but it, it was after because they were in um Vietnam, so it was during Vietnam and uh, yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. It, it, it's the it's the the one that I, I don't know if I can do, but it's the the sucky sucky. It, it's whatever that no, one. Is. Love you long time. Love you long time. <laughs> yes, no, that one. Oh God, please no, no. no. So no. so it does it does that scene. No. And it goes automatically to the cotton swab. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No. It, are you sure it's not fucking Full that Metal Jacket you're thinking part. about? It might be Full Metal Jacket. Yeah, I think so. God, I can't remember fucking Kubrick showing that, but yeah. You can't, you can't remember? I, I specifically remember that because I'm going, I never want a fucking STD. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. STD is the ultimate cog blockers of uh of uh, this world, man. But uh, sure. yeah, I, I got that soundbite in here, Luis, as well. You know the the one. Oh no, God, no! <laughs> Please, no! Yeah, I heard, I heard the Steve Crow. <laughs> I've been trying to get him to get the Gary Vaynerchuk of the one where he's just saying, "I love fucking bread." Yeah. And well, he won't do it. Yesterday's episode, get there it. was there was something that Aiden said that I'm gonna clip out. Uh, uh -huh. I think he said. Oh, yeah, especially if you just fuck it inside. And I'm like, what the fuck did you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But uh... Aiden is like the greatest guest because he is both. It seems like he's uninterested and interested at the same time in everything. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, so Aiden is, uh, yeah, I mean, like, it is uh, kind of bad. Uh, it has uh, great cinematography, uh, yet, but it's not Swedish, so I don't not, really give a shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's like, whatever. I mean, like, it's not that bad, but, uh. <laughs> but it's horrible. <laughs> I, I love him, dude. He's great. I'm just wondering how Leah, like, put up with him for so many years. Oh, they're brother and sister. You put up with a lot of shit when you're brothers yeah, and sisters. Man, yeah. True. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, what's it called? Uh, Luis can tell you some stories about his big brother, man. <laughs> like, almost coming to yeah, blows like, and shit, man. Yeah, that guy's a fucking dick, though. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy, man. He's a fucking dick. No, okay. no he's all right. He's all right. <laughs> well, ever since he got the kid, you know. They mellow I mean, out. The kid, man. They mellow out after a while. Yeah, yeah. It's like parents, like dads and stuff. They mellow out when they hit like their fifties and sixties. That's Pretty so much. true. My my yeah, that's true. Because my mom used to be a fucking dick before, <laughs> but then she turned forty and then she's like, she's good. Well, well, how many kids did she have though? Oh shit, three. Kids. Uh, so yeah. I think because mine, I remember, I remember when yeah, because I remember when she was when I was me and my older brother were smaller. Like, dude, when we wanted to go out and shit, like, even to hang out with friends, she'd be like, no, 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 no. And then when my little brother came out, like, he, he just goes out all the time and shit. Like, she doesn't really, like. See, yeah, and and Bre shit. Brenda's family is the same. She has three other sisters. Her youngest mm -hmm. is 16. And it's like her parents kind of just stopped parenting. <laughs> That's how it works. That's <laughs> They're just tired now. They're like, whatever, don't die. You know, it's just like. It, but Brad, you explain Brenda's sister to me all the time. She sounds like a really nice kid, you know, like she, not, not she not has that. turned out very well. Yeah. Um she's but, still a pain in the ass, but like any other sixteen year old, they're pains in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> Likes a lot of anime for sure. Uh but yeah, you were like uh <laughs> I, I I it's true, man. Like there's a certain kid that the parents just stop parenting at that point. And they're like, you know what? 
fuck this shit. Been doing it for like 30 fucking years already, man. I'm going to let this yeah. one turn out the way it turns out, man. I think that's that, what happens that's when they got... Mom. That's where you get the term, throw the baby out with the bathwater. Because that's yeah. just that last kid. Like, By the way, uh, I got something here from Aiden. I got to show you it. Yeah, Here. Look, uh, Luis, I want you to do something here, man. Uh, go ahead. Just, uh, yeah. I'm going to set the tone, bro. Close your eyes. Just close your eyes. I want you to imagine right. you're in a meadow and you're just walking across uh, a meadow and the sun is very bright. The wind is beautiful, pressing against your skin and the, the mm -hmm. flowers smell beautiful. You lay down, right. your, 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 your woman is next to you. You look up mm -hmm. into the sky and you just hear a wonderful noise of, Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, 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 play it again. What? Play it again. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all just like, what the fuck is that? What the hell is that? Oh, yeah. That is actually a dude. <laughs> that is Aiden that? making an anime sound. <laughs> Oh my God! Jesus Christ. I got fucking tears in my eyes. <laughs> we just had to turn his camera off for a second there. Yeah, he's yeah. He's, he's got to go and uh, fix whatever's bothering him down there. So uh, <laughs> I got, I don't get a itch. swab. I got an itch down there. I got. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, man! This is what happens when you come on the Nerdy Chicano Show, baby. That's what happens, and uh, that's why we don't do the. <laughs> that's why we don't do the ad reading on this show because uh, yeah. I don't want it to turn this into Audible. <laughs> Lose all our sponsorships. Lose all the fucking sponsorships, dude. Oh, my God. So, so you guys are doing pretty good on the ads, then? Like, you guys are getting ads on the YouTube videos you said? You mentioned in the beginning of the podcast? <laughs> you, you, no, we have an Audible sponsorship for the podcast, but uh, oh, Brad is lazy. Yeah. He doesn't care, and he just put, puts in the ads for the videos, too. <laughs> Like straight up, just the first thing you hear when you click on the video is the audible ad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, that's most podcasts though. They do that. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. I'm like, no, I'm like, no, give of my course. Money. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just okay. funny, man. It's, it's funny because he's like, fun. <laughs> and I and I told the story of uh, if I have fifty, the first fifty episodes on my external hard drive, and mm -hmm. and it has that first ad we ever got. From the skim, and it's Brad just like reading it out, and you 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 could tell like this was like the twelfth time he had to record this ad, and he's just like, I yeah. was so fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> like just go the skim, god damn it, just go the fucking <laughs> skim, dude. And, uh, <clears throat> and then uh, the beautiful story of how we lost our sponsorship with Maisie Williams. <laughs> Uh -oh. you, know, you know, Macy is a beautiful person indeed, but New Mutants is still a shitty movie. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, did you see her Hot Ones episode? Uh, no, haven't yet. I saw it was up. Bro, and I, I gotta girl. bring this up though. How is Macy Williams and the rest of these, and then they don't invite Kevin Smith? Yeah, I don't like, know. Really? Dude. Did you hear that they're actually just uh, greenlit a game show for Sean Evans? Oh, God, based on really? Hot Ones? What? Or what network? True TV. Well, True TV green lights a lot of things, man. You know, I, Wait, yeah. I'm pretty so, sure I'm going to send them a script and see if they want to green lit that, man, because they so, green lit everything. Bad in lifetime. Uh, yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's just like game show, just people eating hot shit and getting I, money for it. I just read the article and it's basically just it's 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 not entirely the uh, the 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 hot ones idea, but it's an idea based on hot ones. God damn it, just eating hot guy. shit and giving me money. With Sean Evans, yes. Throw me on there. Okay. I will eat all the hot shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah me too. My, my asshole will feel it, but yeah. Yeah, but my wallet will be big. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I watched the Maisie Williams one, dude. Poor girl, man. <clears throat> she she really got there with some of those, man. What? And, and she, she's she British, laugh, right? She's British, yeah. She's British. That's the issue is British people don't cook with seasoning <laughs> there's like no fucking yeah. seasoning on their food yeah. so it's like that, double that, horrible that's what i was gonna say yeah like, i'm pretty sure they can't take any spicy food mm -hmm. oh like my english God. people english people man yeah the, there was the one with shia labeouf and oh my god just the what when he cleared up what happened with him and tom hardy because that whole rumor that started that oh that him and tom hardy got into a fist fight and stuff and then the actual explanation of what happened it was i, I would have kept the the fist fight thing man 
Like, basically, at one point, they were just wrestling each other fucking naked, dude. That's got to be weird, though, with Tom Hardy. Like, Tom Hardy's huge. So yeah. it's like, ah! <laughs> Especially if you're talking like Tom Hardy and Bane era. <laughs> yeah. Uh-uh. <clears throat> That's a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. But, uh, yeah. Luis, were you saying something before uh, we cut you off there? No, no, no. I was just saying English people can't take the, the spiciness. Yeah. That, that, that was it. Yeah. yeah. Unless they're from India, I mean, because oh, yeah, that has the curry True. and stuff, but... True. Yeah. Just but, now, curry, now, I've never tried curry. I've never tried curry. Is it, how is that? It's it's spicy, but it's good. It's I spicy, like but it. good, dude. Yeah, yeah Brenda, it gives, Brenda doesn't it like it. It gives you the much. shit, though, right? It gives you the shit? Uh, any, anything you eat in large portions will give you the shit. Uh, 100% true, man. 100% true. true. Uh, learn that the hard way. And that's all. But, but now, now, Roll, I'm just thinking of Shia and Tom Hardy's dick touching. Like, Jesus. oh, I'm going to cut that out for sure. I'm cutting that out. Oh, oh okay. there's some dock, docking going on right there. That's uh, a, that, yeah. That. Brad, I'm, this is why we're never going to get any of these people on as guests because you're, you just said, I just thought about Shia and Tom Hardy's dick touching, bro. I'm just, just, you know, some, some sword play going on. I'm just, yeah. you know. Oh it's 2019. God. It's all good. Sure. Oh my god, dude! What's he called? Uh, I, I was uh, watching a co- couple of stuff. I can't can't remember his name, uh, but he was a comedian that died a long time ago, dude. Um, Robin Williams. No, uh, Ralphie May. Ralphie May. Do you remember him, Brad? Yeah, he died what three or four years ago. He's a yeah. big guy. He's big. He was a big, big guy. Big, big dude, no? The yeah. Big, big dude. Yeah, 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 he was, yeah, he was so funny though, man. Uh, he, I was watching one of his old bits from, uh, you know, when he was 21 here in Houston. And by the way, guys, what I'm about to say, you know, I'm just quoting the bit. I'm not saying anything stupid here, but uh, he goes, uh, he's there and he goes, uh, Bill Clinton wants to allow gay people in the military. It was back in, ni- in the 90s when that happened, right? With Don't Ask, Don't Tell. And uh, right. so he goes, he goes, how many of you actually agree with this? And what's it called? There's nobody. Si- everybody's silent for a bit. It's like, come on, guys, right. tell me how you guys really feel. Like, do you think gays should be in the in the military? Some some people say yes, and then there's this guy who just goes straight up, goes no. And then uh, <laughs> Ralphie May goes, uh, yeah, some people think that gay people aren't tough. And so then Ralphie says, and I quote, "But I think they're the toughest sons of bitches on this earth." I mean, you gotta be one tough son of a bitch to take a dick in the ass. You know, I'm constant, <laughs> I'm constipated, and that shit hurts. But whew, I can't imagine how that feels. <laughs> you know, you know, most dudes are scared to get their prostate checked. So yeah, yeah. yeah. He goes, those sons of bitches. And I think those sons of bitches are the toughest people on the earth, man. <laughs> so then, he, and I saw a recent, an old recent bit he did where he said he went to like a wedding and they like served him right. like you know MDMA and shit. And his kid went to the wedding, to the to the recite, to like the reception, not the actual party. The party's where you got the MDMA and shit. And at the party, I mean, at the reception, there's this guy who, who what's it called? Kind of like you know, he's dressed kind of flamboyantly, right? And uh-huh. the kid goes like, "Oh, he's got a cape." He goes, "My kid at this point is really into Star Wars." And he's like, "You know, do, do, do you, Dad, do you think they like sword fights?" <laughs> and he, the Dad goes, "Oh yeah, I know, one hundred percent. They do like sword fights." <laughs> so he goes, "These guys got capes. They like sword fights. Y'all some cool motherfuckers." <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh man, rest in peace, Ralphie May, bro. Big, he was a big boy, but uh, yeah, that, big boy. that shit made sh- me laugh so hard, man. My Schwartz is bigger than yours. My Schwartz is bigger than yours, <laughs> dude. Uh, Luis, you actually sent me something that I laughed a lot with too, and I, uh, you sent it to me, and I already had watched it. But uh, Brad, have you seen that uh, the the commercial for Disney Plus with the Simpsons oh. in it? No, I haven't. Dude, it's it's so like Bart comes out in like the Mickey outfit. And he goes, he goes, I'm not going to do it. I don't care how much they paid. And he goes, you're going to wear it. And then Homer's like, you're going to wear that nose or I'm going to. And he puts it on. And so, like, they do the whole thing. They they, they go, cheese. And then Bart just pulls down his pants and he flashes his ass. <laughs> and they're all just, like, different characters. Like, yeah. Like like I like the Marvel the Star Wars everything yeah, yeah the Star Wars and everything Lisa Hilarious. Lisa is a uh, frozen I think it's like a glacier yeah um no Lisa is Yoda if I'm not mistaken no 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 Lisa is no I'm sorry not Lisa Mar Marge Margaret no Margie Margaret Marge 
Marge Marge. is um, the 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 goat person, the shepherd, the female one. Ah, Bo Peep. Bo Peep. Yeah, that one. Yeah. And then I don't know what else. And then Maggie. Maggie is Yoda. Yeah. Yeah. And then Lisa is just this big ass glacier. I think it's frozen or the Titanic or something. Uh, Titanic is 21st century. Did I, did Fox. did does did Fox uh, 20th Century Fox own? I will Titanic? find uh, this out at the moment, my friends. What I mean, that would make sense, sense, a glacier. Yeah, because it's True. a big ass glacier, and then of I course mean, yeah. Homer is I, I, uh... like Frozen. <laughs> could probably just be dressed up like Elsa. Yeah. Well, it's not. Yeah. <clears throat> um, what's it called? Uh, Homer is uh Tony Stark, uh, Iron Man, of course. Bart, Obviously. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Oh my god! But yeah, it's it just it just Bart like flashes his ass. I'm like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> uh, 20th Century Fox, yes. Production company 20th Century Fox, produced produced by them and distributed by them internationally. Also international, uh, produced and uh, distributed North America by Paramount Pictures. But yeah, they were owned by 20th Century Fox. Did so they you- buy? Did they buy Paramount Pictures too? No, no, or they just didn't. No, no, no. What did they did they buy Twentieth Century? They bought Twentieth yeah, Century. Bought Twentieth Century 20th, Fox. Twentieth Century Fox. Yeah, they left. And yeah. what other properties do they have? Um, so Marvel, Twentieth Century, The Planet of the Apes. Uh, Planet of the Apes, which belongs to Fox. No? Yeah, that yeah. they have that. They also have Alien. They have. Um, they have aliens. Yep, they have like alien, alien. Alien, like. Yep. Prometheus and everything, all those yep. franchises? Yep, they have those. Um, oh, wow. What else do they have, dude? They Oh, they, they have the original, you know, they have the original rights of uh, of uh, Star Wars A New Hope now, so they if they were to do a re-release, they can do the bum, 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 in the beginning, you know? Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Um, what else? I'm pretty sure I'm blanking. Oh, Kingsman, Kingsman. They have Kingsman as well. And Avatar. No one cares about Avatar. Yeah, Avatar. Okay, but Avatar. yeah. Yeah. Uh, I saw a DVD yeah, of. Uh, about Avatar. Went to the went to the library. Do you to... think it's gonna? Ha- is, do you think it's gonna be as big of a success though, <laughs> as before? Or uh, 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 no? Uh, no. Because <laughs> I think they're, they're making part two, three, and four. No. Two, uh, three, four. They're actually yes. up to five. Actually, I think up to five. Actually, I, I, I think five. he wants. To, I think he wants to go to six. <laughs> Look, it's because the thing is that it's confused me. The what what Cameron has said about this. So at one point he was like, "Okay, if two and three do bad, then four and five aren't gonna happen." But then he'll say, "Oh yeah, I pretty much shot all the location stuff for up to five. We just need to do the VFX." And uh, up to three, it's ar- the filming is already done on up uh, to like five with the with the location stuff. And I'm like, wait, what? So you know, you've already wasted the money to film already. Didn't you just say that if three, two, and three did not work out as well, that you weren't gonna well, do it? Well, that's not a that. Well, that's not up to him because if, for example, this was but this uh, was the, the, this was before the merger though. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. But the money's already invested, though. The yeah. investors have to say so, no, whether it gets released or not. I guess that's kind I'm of pretty where sure I... a director doesn't get the the yeah. final say because then they'll just replace the director. Because he's the one who's also producing it. So he, oh, he yeah, remember? Oh, so, true. So here's a tidbit for you. 20th Century Fox owns 73 percent of National Geographic. Oh yeah. Now Disney owns National Geographic. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, they're doing that. Uh, the world according to Jeff Goldblum show. Yeah. Yeah. That's that looks really. Good. That looks so stupid good. Dude. Well, anything with Jeff Goldblum, you know, is yeah. gonna be good. Sexy pose, right? Yeah. 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 Um, and Brad, I actually checked out something. Something broke this last week that I forgot to mention to you, but uh, uh, the directors of Won't You Be My Neighbor, they're doing a doc on Anthony Bourdain now. Oh. There you go. Yeah, they're the team behind the won't you won't you be my neighbor? They're gonna do uh, Anthony Bourdain doc next. Well, I kind of figured like any of the big names after their death, they get a uh, a documentary on them. Yeah. Like uh, HBO has that Robin Williams come inside my mind. Yeah. I just watched that today. Have you, I would oh. suggest 
I would suggest anybody who's a fan of Robin Williams, which is basically everyone, go watch yeah, it. Yeah, of course. Uh, have you watched the the Spielberg documentary though? That I one's not. really good, dude. Yeah. Oh, look, uh, Luis, I got something in here. Yo. I found it. Uh, yeah, look. Uh, look uh, once again, uh, sound bite coming in in three, two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I keep all these sound bites, man. By the way, I what like you, that. what are you doing in San Benito? Um, visiting my beautiful girlfriend. Yeah. Well, shit, you took she, time out of it. She's next. She's next to me. Yeah. Tell Megan yeah, I yeah. said hey. Hello. Hi, Megan. That's, yeah. that's my girlfriend, by the way. Yeah. She, but... Her name's Megan. Megan, she can't what's... hear you guys because I got AirPods. Yeah. But... Damn, Megan, you changed your hair color, man. You said you changed your hair color? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah going, she's going for that uh, uh, Angelina Jolie in Salt. You know, when she had uh, black hair. Oh, shit. That's true. Yeah. No, dude, it's weird because, like, uh, today I had this encounter. Uh, we went to Ulta. I'm not sure if you know what Ulta is. Ulta, yeah, Ulta. It's like uh, a makeup. Yeah, makeup. Yeah, it's yeah. A makeup place. But um, I lost her for a second because <laughs> you know how she had like super like liar, and I lost her for a second. And then I looked at this girl with black hair, and I was like, "Fuck is that?" And I was looking for a, like a blonde girl, like a blonde, like a blonde yeah. girl, but like a lighter hair girl. And then you know, and then I got confused because it was fucking her. But I was like, "Shit!" <laughs> I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> That's. I was like, Damn, "Oh my new God. woman, who this?" You know who this man? It's like you're dating a whole yeah. new girl, right? <laughs> Honestly, dude, that's what I told her. It's like dating a different person. Yeah, but like same personality, right? But it's just like different, yeah. like a completely different person. Yeah, yeah. You just lose her much more easily now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now it's harder to find her. Yeah, Brad, Brad, does that ever happen to you with the <sighs> missus? Usually, well. Brenda always gets mad at me because she'll be talking, and I'm one of those. If you haven't noticed, sometimes I just wander. Like, I do that in real life, not just in conversations. I'll just wander off somewhere. So she'll be continuously talking, and people be looking at her weird because there's no one around her. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Jesus Christ, Brad. Um, By the way, Luis, did you know that Brad is on TikTok? Yeah, I follow him. Yeah. Dude, somebody messaged him, hey, nice nails, on a video of 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 a thing that Brenda made. And uh-huh. Brad's like convinced that this guy thought that that, that was a uh, that was him, and I'm like, dude, no, like that's well, obvious. Brenda. <laughs> and the story is, I I try I try to convince Brenda because she does all these projects, these crafts and stuff. I try to get to make like videos or something, like even post them to YouTube or even TikTok. And I wanted to show right. her, like, you know, people actually watch this. Like, she got yeah. like 500 and something views on just taking uh, taking the skull thing out of the mold. Nice, and man. I'm like, I'm like, yo, so I'm just trying to prove to her, like, this is something you could do because, you know, people want to see this because they want to do that stuff, too. Yeah. But Shut- yeah, that, that creepy dude, I blocked him. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, I- nice nails to uh, go to call turns into a shot of my junk in your fucking private messages. <laughs> yeah. It's like, how about you put this in those nice? Uh, oh, fingers? you motherfucker. Like, no, no. Uh-uh. Nope, nope. Nah. Nope. <laughs> Oh my god, man! Um, <laughs> but yeah, Brad told me that story. I was like, dude, that's like you know damn well, you know that's what's gonna lead to that, man. You know. <laughs> I know how dudes think. Like oh. everything leads to a dick pic. Pretty, <laughs> especially on the internet. Yeah, but, bro. but if you're getting paid for it, it's cool though. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I I can't hate on the women who take pictures of their feet True. for money. I mean, like, you know, if somebody would pay me for pictures of my feet, I would take pictures every day. Absolutely. <laughs> if you, if I could take God, Brad, that's a Brad quote right there. Somebody would who pay want, pictures. Who wants some pictures of Hobbit feet going on? Yeah, man, <laughs> dude, my fucking nasty ass feet. Imagine if somebody actually were turned on by those pictures, those feet, bro. How you doing, yeah, man. those feet? Got some nasty yeah, ass. Feet. I, I recently got athlete's foot, so yep. my athlete's foot would be like those would be some intense ass pictures. Yeah, bro. Twenty dollars a pop though. Twenty dollars a pop though. Yeah, it reminds me of American Dad. I've been watching American Dad because I because I what's it called? I wrote a treatment for it for my class, and uh, cool. I got to an episode where where uh, where where Stan uh, Francine is like a ro- sex robot. And uh, what's right. it called? She tells him, "I'm gonna go down on you to that one spot that makes you that you love the most." And she just goes down and <laughs> he goes straight to the toes. And he's like, "I'm gonna suck on these toes like it's the last day on earth." <laughs> 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 oh my god, shit, man! 
<laughs> yeah, unfortunately, uh, the only people who want pictures of my feet are university medical centers. Oh, good lord, man! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jesus Christ, Brad! That's just terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> Oh man, but uh, why? Why do you have seven toes on that one? I, I don't know. No, I don't know, man. Hey, Mississippi. W- <laughs> wasn't there like a rumor for the longest time that fucking um, LeBron James had like six toes? LeBron James. LeBron James. Yep. There was like a rumor Dude, about my, that. My fingers on my toes, on my on my on my feet, are longer are longer than the actual toe. Jesus. That Christ. makes sense. Like like it looks like th- like that like that like that's the distance between. Is that weird? Yeah, it's pretty weird, right? That's that kind of weird. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what. It's weird. I have like weird feet. I have yeah. long. So like your big toe didn't like fully extend or something? <laughs> I guess so because my big toe is the size of like. It's smaller than my actual. Yeah. Thumb. Well, dude, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give out some personal information about Eric. And he knows he doesn't like it, but fuck him. Uh, Eric's toes yeah, him. are like Does one. Does he have web feet? No. Eric's yeah. toes are like one on top of the other. What? Yeah, bro. Explain. So like, Explain. So like Explain. one will be like, so like his little toe will be like this. Look, I'm showing you on the camera. And then yeah, one yeah. will be like that. And then the other one will be under like this. Are you well, sure he doesn't wear high heels then? No. I, that's how they, his toes came out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Like they're like like that like pretty much yeah like that. It's uh, weird, man. Yeah, that one's that one's pretty weird. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad Eric doesn't listen to the podcast. What well, he'd get mad every time we mention he's a furry because yeah. that's like every episode. It's, right. it's, a, it's an inside joke at this point, man. But uh, I still gotta get <laughs> Eric back so he can do the. <laughs> Oh my god, man! Um, but I, I got I got something to tell you, please. Um, What's up? So, for people who don't know, I say this story a lot. So, I Luis had the pleasure of helping me take pictures of a roll of film that I had, a color roll oh, yeah. of film, and you know, sadly, when it got to unloading the film, I did not press the rewind button, so the film broke. It ripped. <laughs> Those pictures went to waste. I turned in yeah. my I turned in my other two rolls, Luis. One uh-huh. of them came out great. They're the pictures you can see at the moment on my Instagram. You can go check it out. The Nerdy Chicano, right? Right. And then the other fi- the roll, I get a message like, "Hey man, just want to let you know your other roll came out blank. It seems that when you when you latched your ro- your film in, the the little latches didn't catch onto the film, so you never took pictures with it." Ooh. Oh wow. Oh. I got hoed hard, bro. Oh. Hard. But you didn't double check that? You didn't I, check that before? I, can't, I couldn't because I was under the impression that it was going. And then if I would have opened it up, it would have exposed the film to light. Right. And then it would have been shit. Like, it would have okay, been shit. Got it. And so that was... You would, a, you would think that you would learn from my pictures, the, the, the billion pictures you were supposedly taking of me. 36 then, fucking pictures, bro. <laughs> and then they all went to shit. Yeah. <laughs> Order two new rolls. I got a black and white, and I got a color one. But I'm gonna do portraits of uh, Sarah, my uh, friend here, uh, the one I uh, usually Sarah. take pictures of. Yeah, that girl. I'm gonna take pictures of her with the color film. But uh, you know, I got a black and white one just to fuck around. But uh, yeah, I have to tell you that story because I know you can understand my pain because it's happened before. Well, I ripped one. It's just the thing is, you these are the mistakes you live and you learn from, but they're also the ones that cost you a lot of fucking money. How or much time. Did it cost you? So it, and time, time and time. So like the roll itself, I think it cost me eight. Let's go okay. ahead and say eight to bucks, develop? and then right. nine dollars to develop. So you basically had to pay nine dollars for to get film developed that had nothing on it. That had nothing on it. Oh. <laughs> yep, yep. If you can understand my pain, bro. Well, it's like when you almost almost delete a podcast. Actually. When you have deleted a podcast, it's like it just hurts. It hurts, man, and it's like stupid mistakes like that that make me really realize, like Raúl, you really got to double check your shit, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't think I've been on an episode that you've deleted. I've been on one you've almost deleted. Yeah, but it, it was like a really good one, so it was like that one hurts. Yeah, like when you know you got good shit, it's because I do the stupid mistake of when I finish recording, I'll add the effect. And then I will, what's it called, uh, 
leave it for the morning to export. Usually that will happen with either Gamer Core, Imper Files. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it never happened with Imper Files. Gamer Core, or uh, what's it called? Um, what's Nerdy Chicano sometimes, where like I'll leave it on, and then the next morning I'll be like, okay, cool, let me go ahead and upload. And I'll get confused, and I wouldn't know, and I won't know if I had already expo exported it. So I'll close out of audition, and then I'll realize, oh crap, I didn't export the episode. I just fucking lost it. So, it's it's a I it's have a, a scattered brain. Learning process. It's I have a scattered <laughs> brain, bro. But uh, we're getting towards the end here, man. We're just gonna go ahead and finish up here because uh, pretty sure Brad and I are gonna go live in a little bit. And, uh, yeah, but oh, but but just to I I said it off camera, uh, mm -hmm. Brad. But I recommend you. I'm not too sure if you're gonna watch this movie already, but it's called The King on Netflix, with uh, Timothy Chalamet. Amber, Chalamet. Say, say the last name for me. Chalamet. Chalamet. Whatever the fuck. Chalamet. Great movie. Yeah. Is that Honestly. The, oh yeah, that, this this is the one me and Raul were looking at a uh, yeah. trailer. Yeah, we're Ron yeah. Panson too. Yeah. Super good. Recommend yeah. it. Legit. Like. I don't want to get my hope. I don't want you guys to get your hopes up when you watch mm -hmm. this thing. You'll be like, "Oh, it's not that good." No, it's actually gonna be good, and I can guarantee. Or my name isn't Luis Garcia. Nurse Luis Garcia. Yeah. <laughs> sexy nurse. No, but seriously though, <laughs> sexy nurse, sexy nurse Luis Garcia. No, but seriously though, I, I recommend you guys watch that show. That that mm -hmm. movie. I'm sorry. Yeah, that, but good. be that's patient good. though. But be patient though. It's two hours twenty minutes. That's, that's good to hear though, because sometimes you get like really good trailers on movies. And that was yeah. like all the good parts of the fucking movie. And that's kind of <laughs> what I worry about. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's like that was an amazing trailer. Then yeah. you get to the movie and you're like, all right. <laughs> I mean, I go back last year. That was the complaint with a lot of people for a Star is Born. They're like, dude, the trailer was so freaking amazing and the movie sucked. I was like, wait, what the fuck did you watch, bro? I was like, that was that's pretty, true. like, but they were like the same thing. They were like, it was like, I'd rather have watched the trailer instead of the movie. And I'm like, what the fuck? Okay. Yeah. Right. I, think, I think it's just different taste. Yeah. I like how Hereditary ended up. Where Fuck half you. and half were like, it's the greatest fucking thing ever made. And half was like, uh, yeah. I kind of fell asleep. Luis, can you believe it that Brad, Brad didn't like uh, Hereditary? What? For, you didn't like it, Brad? It was too slow. Like that first hour, oh, I'm just sitting there going, why is... <laughs> Why do why do I need to watch them living their day to day lives? Just Jesus. fucking art. That builds anticipation though. I don't need anticipation, bro. Just get to <laughs> it. <laughs> nah, man. I, fucking Luis and I love that movie, dude. It scares the living love shit out of movie. me. But yeah, I love oh, it. That, uh, you know, and oh, I'm kind of I'm kind of in Aiden's camp. I could have done without like the whole cult part of it. And if oh. you would have just stuck to the family drama that was going on, because those were the parts that I liked. But that strips it of the whole horror of, of the movie, dude. Well, yeah, I mean, I, it, it's to me, it barely registers as a horror movie anyway. Yeah, but. it is a horror movie, man. It's a disturbing oh. film, I think. <clears throat> and said, I think it's, I think it, I think it phases. I mean, I don't think it's called horror either. Like maybe it's like a, like a disturbed art piece. I I call I it know. psychological horror, man. That's I mean, what I call I, it. I, psychological. I, I, you know, and when your cousin chimed in on Donnie Darko, I got to put it in the same realm as Donnie Darko. Yeah. You might not consider Donnie Darko like full horror, but yeah. it's one of those psychological thrillers. Yeah. Sure. I was going to, I can't believe I almost signed off without asking this, but uh, last last segment here. Well, it's, it's a bit, I guess. Uh, Luis actually did something that I can never do in my whole fucking life. Because I, I, I watched The Conjuring and I was screaming my ass off. But Luis went to a haunted house thing. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, I went to um, I went to Toluca Ranch. It's called Toluca Ranch. And it's this place nah, built hell in 1880 nah. something. And it's an actual house, right? Um, nah, hell no. Nah. Think of like in the middle of like, okay, literally think of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh. Nah. In the middle of nowhere in Texas, obviously, in Wessico. Dude, you have to drive like almost getting to the border of Mexico. It's like literally next to Mexico, called Progreso, and it's this ranch and it's a lot of acres, a lot, a lot, a lot of acres, and you have to like park <clears throat> at the side of a factory-looking thing. Like think of the the one in um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, mm -hmm. and then you have to walk in this 
long, 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 long path of like tre- long trees. It's just long trees and you walk straight. Think of this. And it's nighttime. And you're just walking, walking, walking. And in the distance, you see a house. It's like a three-story, pretty big house. Like a, not like a mansion. No. Like, I mean, eh, like a mansion, big like a, house or whatever. Kind of like a Victorian style kind of it's, house. There we go. That's that's what the word. Oh no, God! God! No, God, please, it no! Pretty, no! It was, it was decently no! scary. No! <laughs> but uh, it was decently scary, but the only thing that really freaked me out, and it's, it's one thing that, like, always been freaking me out since, like, literally since I was a kid, because I'm not scared of, like, a lot of things. The only thing I'm really scared of is, like, obviously, like, the, like, like, demonic thing. Yeah, yeah. So there was this, you know, like, Satan, like, the goat? Yeah. You know the one that the one that comes out like this. He usually comes out like that in yeah. most sculptures. Yeah. That that Fuck. character. Nah. They had somebody Hell with no. that mask, and the mouth moved, and the eyes oh. was like an actual move. No. Dude, it was like animatronics, but it was this Fuck no. person Fuck carrying no. it, and he was touching you, dude. He was like, Nah. Yeah. Fuck and no, like, bro. Oh. Fuck no. So and then in. Yeah, and they can touch you, and then they can carry you. Bro, like the, I, the, straight the, up, the, the I, actors they can carry you. No, I'm have, st- straight up fucking punching somebody if they do that, bro. Have you Dude, guys? They, they carried, they carried my girlfriend. They took her, and I lost her like twice. <laughs> and the, at that they, moment, you were like, "Oh, like, I'm they, good." They literally, he was her, pissed at you. they literally took her, and, and I was like, "Oh shit." Guess, guess I ain't going then, back uh, for you. <laughs> and then there was a leather face. Uh, guy, oh, no. um, with I hate like, this. I like hate a chainsaw this. dude, and like he got right in my face and pushed me against the wall. He's like, "Get under there!" And he made me crawl under this like thing, and I had to go somewhere. And I got so scared. I was like, "Oh shit, <laughs> I'll go!" But it was like literally like uh, Leatherface, the one from uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh. Have, have you Have you guys heard of the haunted house in Fremont, Ohio, where if you can survive it, basically, if you can endure it. You get twenty thousand dollars at the end of it. No, but it's basically ten hours of torture. That's that's how they how they describe it. Ten hours of torture. Yeah. <laughs> what are you, you, though? Fuck no, baby. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> so I can read you the article right here. They had one visitor. So they drew on her face with a sharpie and rubbed a spit-covered toy on her face. Um, okay. So they had another where they made it like a school shooting, and they had somebody pull uh, a gun from a no, locker. No. Oh shoot! Yeah, so th- th- they are not playing around. No, dude. <laughs> yeah. Well, for twenty grand, I would assume. You guys can't trying... see this. You guys can't see this because it's my camera has to be like high fucking definition up to the max, right? My palms are sweating just hearing what you guys are fucking talking about. Fuck no, dude. Fuck no, Luis. No, yeah. no, Brad, you are our, you are literally the only white person in our team. Is this some white people shit? This is some white people shit, man. The, the, <laughs> what, and you have to remember, like there, there's, there's different groups of white people. There, right. there's, there's white people like, like me, who hate mostly all other white people. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got the other white people. So it, it's, you know, and this is the ones who run towards. Like the frightening shit, or don't move right. out of the haunted house. That's not me. I'm like, I'm gone. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Sell the house, get a new one. Obviously. Oh man, I... <laughs> like, like, like it, it's that one. Like I think somebody had like a <clears throat> gorilla or like alligator in their house or some shit. Nah, like nah. throw the keys. There you go. Your house now. Bye. Fuck that, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Oh man. Um. So, uh, while Luis did all this, I watched The Conjuring and screamed for like the whole thing. Screamed dude, throughout I the whole thing. I can't with that movie, dude. No. I can't with that movie. No, nah, man. L- literal PTSD, you, dude. You know what I didn't get to say during the review role? Go ahead and say so it now. I, I got one. They got me with one jump scare. It was the one where she's on top of that uh, wardrobe. Yeah. Got me with that. Whip. That yeah. fucking got me. Yeah. And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it seems like all the other ones were like planned. In that one, I was like, uh, that's like, oh. that's the one where I screamed the highest, bro. The highest. Because it was unexpected because you're like, they've been playing around with the fucking wardrobe. You're expecting stuff to come out of it. And then yeah. it like just it pans barely up to the yeah. fucking witch there. And you're like, oh, shit. Yeah. 
<laughs> God, fuck, man. Fuck that shit. Oh, my God. I can't stand that, man. No, it, it scared the shit out of me. I will scream the whole time. And Luis knows how fuck how bad I scream sometimes. But Yeah. yeah. And I just uh, like how Leia and uh, Aiden are just like, man, we have no feelings. Yeah, what the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> I guess just desensitize this. We, we yeah. feel nothing. <laughs> my yeah. God, man. All right, well, Luis did that. Uh, uh, anything you've watched as of late other than The King, Luis, that you really liked? Daybreak, like I said, it's yeah. a show about the end of the world, Apocalypse. It's yeah. based around like a high school theme. There's jocks, there's cheerleaders, mm-hmm. there's the Kardashians. Like That's what they call themselves, like the Gucci people. Mm-hmm. Um, the geeks, whatever the heck. And they're just trying to survive the apocalypse. That one's a good one. Um, what did I just watch? Uh, season three of Big Mouth. That was a good oh, one. Yeah, uh, Atypical uh, season three just came out too. I saw that. I haven't put watched. Put a pin on that one. Put a pin on that one. Put a pin on that one. So I have a little more time for that one. Um, what else did I watch that is notable? Let me just look at my list real quick. I won't watch anything in the theater? Uh, did you watch anything watching. in the theater, Luis? Oh. Dude, I haven't been to the movies in like forever, dude. Since the, Joker, all the right? Suck right now, dude. Dude, all the movies suck. Yeah, whoa, so, like whoa, there hasn't whoa, been anything whoa. good. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, they're, okay. They're, give me a good recommendation. I've been the itching for the movies. Lighthouse, we know is good because of Raul. Yeah, but and what, then, Luis, there's another one. Luis is definitely not getting the lighthouse over there. That's for sure. Which one? Which the one? lighthouse? For sure, he did not get the no, lighthouse. No, I didn't get that. No, no I didn't get what? that. No. Then the farewell recently came out. I don't know if it's in theaters. That op- no, not anymore. It's available to rent on November twelfth, though. Okay. I haven't, I haven't seen anything called farewell. No. No, that's gonna. I, I was trying to watch Ad Astra, mm-hmm. but they took it off my theater already. Sons of the bitches. Only, I'll, I'll get. I'll give you a list of what what it, what's right now. Oh, it's... Doctor Sleep's coming out. Ooh yeah. Which one? Doctor Sleep. It's the basically. They kind of call it the oh. sequel to The Shining, even though it's not technically the sequel to The Shining. Shit, y'all got right. y'all got the, the the what's it called the, the Harriet. You guys have Harriet. I. The trailer for that. I watched that movie, it. but I heard it's not accurate. I heard that, uh, that I heard a Twitter thing that that said that they they actually made a like a move where the uh, there was a white person trying to kill Harriet Tubman, like an assassin or something like that, mm-hmm. and then that wasn't accurate <clears throat> or something like that. Or what was Damn. The- a black person trying to kill slaves, and then the white, oh. the white slave master was trying to save Harriet Tubman. Like a whole. Oh, okay. So they try to make this black dude kill Harriet Tubman, and then there's this white dude, and he was a slave bounty hunter, and he was helping Harriet Tubman. Oh, that doesn't sound too... I, I don't know. It, it, it wasn't accurate at all, so people don't want to watch that, so I'm yeah. going to hold off on it. Yeah, and then, a little bit. Then there's Jojo Rabbit. You know, Jojo bro. Jojo Rabbit. What's that? Oh, that's the. <laughs> watch the trailer. Watch the trailer. <laughs> Just watch the trailer. I'll watch it right now. Yeah. yeah. I'll watch it a little oh bit. shit, Brad. What? The so look, Luis, do this. Peanut Butter Falcon is at Cinemark's Movie Ooh, Ten. Yeah, you have to see that. Cinemark Peanut Movie Ten. What? At the Dollar Theater, Peanut Butter Falcon is over there. It's about a. It's a about one? this boy. It's, a great it, one. it's an actor with Down syndrome playing a kid who wants to be a wrestler, but he wants, but he has Down syndrome. And then and it, for it, sure stars, it's good. it stars Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, I, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, I think Raul's seen it too. It's playing at the Dollar Theater, Luis. Uh, the peanut butter. Okay, I'll watch that one. Yeah, that one's. Uh, let me let me see if there's gonna be a, a showing until like. Yeah, that one had me crying, bro. It's okay, just so. It's so, so wholesome good. and so beautiful, man. Dude, I've been itching to go to the movies. Like, any movie. Yeah. My local, my local have... theater had that playing for like a month or two months. Yeah. <laughs> because oh, they just were, kept getting people wanting to come and see it again and again. I'm going to check the oh, Island wow. Cinema just for shits and giggles. What's at the Island Cinema? Because... Check the, the ones in Arlington, too. Yeah. It's because I only have the closest thing I have here. Is only a Cinemark, and maybe about an hour and a half fish away. I have an AMC, but that's it. I don't have any other chain of movie theaters. It's just those two options, but like pr- pretty much just one, because I only have a Cinemark, and like they only play like the big 
things, which are usually kind of shitty movies, like The Countdown. It's like a scary movie. Yeah. But, yeah. I love yeah, how I don't I... watch that. You need I... to get an Alamo Draft House. That's what y'all guys need. Dude, well, they're, I know. They're actually going to make the movie, the Dollar Theater, into a dine-in theater. A cinema hey, dine-in. You're kidding. I'm not kidding, bro. Legit? Legit. Oh, wow. Those dine-in ones are serious. I love the dine-in theaters. Yeah, because they have one at um, back home, but you got to go all the way to fucking like Edinburgh, I think, for a dine-in theater. And, uh, you know, what's it called? Uh, back home, they have it like that. And it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm checking here for you, buddy. Yep. Uh, Anybody know 16? anything about Jexy? Jexy with this... <laughs> Heard that was stupid. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, that that one looks kind of dumb. Yeah, I heard that one was dumb, really dumb. Angel has fallen. <laughs> I don't know, bro. No. Uh-uh. What about uh, Good Boys? <laughs> that, I heard that one's really funny, actually. Yeah. 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 And oh shit. Angry Birds. Uh, don't go see Angry. One? No, don't go see. Don't go see. Okay. No, don't, don't go see Angry. Money. Don't go see the sequel to wait. Angry Birds. <laughs> wait, wait till Netflix. Okay, gotcha. Wait, wait, wait to straight to straight to streaming. Straight to streaming, bro. Straight to streaming. Yeah. Um, just looking around here, looks like there's nothing a lot. Man. Oh shit! Uh, AMC Edinburgh has the lighthouse, but that's all the way at fucking Edinburgh. Nah, that's pretty far, dude. Yeah, no, I'm looking here, dude. Nothing really. Not the Island Cinema. So just the peanut butter one. Peanut, peanut butter. Yeah. One. Peanut butter fountain. Island Cinema and the Island has Judy, the Judy Garland biopic. Which I heard was really good. I haven't watched it, of course, because I never get anything over here like that. That would look good, but I yeah. mean, if they're showing Peanut Butter Falcon, nah, I, gotta, go, go, I gotta give it to that. Go 100% for Peanut Butter Falcon, Luis. It's uh, so wholesome, so heartwarming. Yeah? Yeah. And it's okay, just, the idea, one, like, you know, there's never actors with disabilities on screen. So the fact right. that these directors basically wrote a movie just for this guy to have a movie, yeah. it's uh, it's worth supporting, man. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll give that one a shot. Sweet. Especially because uh, I really want to go to the movies again. Yeah. All right, man. It's been a wonderful time here, as always. You know, uh, what's it called? Uh, Main Man Luis here. We brought you guys an extra long episode of the Nerdy Chicano Show, but I know how much you guys have missed this show. It shows the last two to- the last two weeks has been really hard to get. It was Luis's birthday, and then I believe Luis was just doing a lot of shit last week. So it was really yeah. hard to get in touch with him. But uh, other than that, you know, what's it called? We're back in action, I guess. Pretty much, and uh, yay! For so, without a further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get into these plugs real fast. Yeah. Uh, Patreon supporters—they're the best way to uh, to you know to help to be- help the show out. You know, we got a lot of goals. We want to hit them all, and we hit our first goal. Uh, talked. I found I found out uh, what's wrong with the with the goal right now, Brad. Uh, everything's under control. Okay. So uh, we yeah. Jumped in. We, we, we technically we are still at ten, yes. Okay. Uh, okay, but uh, yeah. So uh, sh- shout out to uh, the wonderful Patreon supporters. You're awesome. Uh, wink, wink, Megan. If you want to become a Patreon supporter, you know, you can, one dollar a month it gets us a lot to a lot. But uh, yeah, I try to sell everybody on the Patreon here. Uh, Brad sometimes he gets on the Patreon just to spite us. Hey, I have a question though. I have a question before yes, we go sir. on. Mm-hmm. Luis, for your birthday, nope. did you play Two Chains birthday song? No, I didn't. <laughs> no. Luis, Luis, hold on. Actually, Luis plays this, man. And I, I wonder... Uh, for my birthday I, is a big no. I, I wonder if I'll get copyright. I don't think I will. Because they yeah. seem to not give a shit on Anchor. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. <laughs> this is what Luis plays on, on birthdays. He would give All right. me... Birthday oh my god, I know, I know what you're going to put. I know what you're going to put. This is, uh, I know what you're going to put. Yeah. All right. So, uh, if so, you're putting what, what it, yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Wait, what's going on here? Okay. I know exactly what he's gonna play. All right. So, Brad, this is what Luis plays for everybody's birthday, and uh, I guess I'm just gonna play it here for you, man. There you go.
One hundred. That's Brad's age. <laughs> I, I did not know until now that a Mexican Yoda existed. Yeah, or uh, <laughs> this was uh, this was this was the Joker before. <laughs> this is this is who the Dude. Joker wanted to be. <laughs> Dude, every Mexican birthday party like ever included that song. Yeah, that, that, that's like a, that's like a classic, dude. It's a classic. It's like a dude. classic. It's a classic. Oh my god. No, and yeah. the, and the, and the and the clown gives you nightmares, but it's cool though. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh with that said, let's go ahead and get back to housekeeping. So yeah, Patreon's the way you can go and help us reach a lot of the goals we want to do with the show. The next goal, you know, Luis is going to shave his head and Brad will shave the beard and we will finally be able to do audio movie commentaries. So uh and then Brad will probably get a mic because Give me the I mic. fucking hate the mic he has right now. Really no, bad. No, you, you hate my dog. You don't necessarily hate the mic. You hate that it can no. pick up everything. Yeah, I hate that it picks up everything. I hate that microphone. Yeah, you can pick up Brenda farting from like three houses down if yeah. you wanted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whereas I bet you guys couldn't hear the people who were like screaming from like the next room on this microphone. So, uh, yeah. Thankfully. So you pick- have that? Yeah. What are your neighbors fucking doing? Know, is man. it is it good screams or bad screams? I don't know. But uh you can go and help <laughs> make these realities happen on patreon.com slash the nerd course your RPS. For a dollar a month, you get the episodes a day early and ad free. But it doesn't really matter because if you do a dollar a month, two dollars a month, twenty, fifty, whatever, you still count. And you're part of our family and we love you for it. Uh, we love our producers the most, though. They're the best ones. I mean, they're just above and beyond. They do incredible things. Don't get me wrong. All the Patreon supporters are great, but these people, they go above and beyond, and we got to give them a shout-out because they deserve it. Our mm-hmm. associate producers, Cassie and Sarah, are awesome, but our our executive producers, boy, they're great, too. Grayson, who you can follow on Twitter at WarlordHitman98 on, on, on Twitter, Instagram at GraysonBarker98, and Shane, where can they find him, Brad? Ah, uh, such a brilliant new work on this show too. Twitch.tv slash S W R W K and Twitter at S W R W K Twitch. They get a shout out on every single show. Brad. Every show. Every show. Every show. Go follow them. Build build them up so they because you know what is it like? All high tides float every boat or something. Okay, moving on. Something to that effect. Whatever. I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah. All, uh, our high tides raise. You can uh, all boat. You- you can get you can get official fuck Brad merchandise, uh, a sticker or a shirt. You can get that at www.teespring.com slash stores. I'm not fucking stickers, damn it. I embrace the hate. <laughs> slash the nerd core, but the dash nerd dash core. Uh, Why did we end up with that? How did it happens to everybody? I... Yeah. I guess they don't like it when uh when we when we try to you know put a whole fucking name together, right? Um, so uh, what's it called? Rate and review the podcast on your podcast app of choice. It really does help the feed grow. I mean, it's 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 great. You know, five star that bitch. You know, you love it. You know, you want to do it. Uh, Twitter, the Nerdcore underscore Instagram at the Nerdcore Facebook group, the Nerdverse, the official Nerdcore group, and the website, the Nerdcore dot com. You go and check that out for all our written stuff and the YouTube channel because all the Nerdy Chicano shows are are on there. There's a designated playlist where you can go and listen to them if you're not if you're not down with the podcast some stuff. You can go to YouTube and all our episodes are on there, man. All of them. You can binge watch them all. So uh, thanks to Bradley, of course. I see you shaking your fucking hands, you dumbass. <laughs> Uh, but other than that, <laughs> it has been a wonderful time here with uh, Luis and and, uh, and Brad. And uh, in the next one, we'll just you know get even more stupid, man. I mean, what else can we do, man? Uh, you guys want to say anything before we leave? Adios, motherfuckers. No. no. Don't do crack. Crack is whack. Crack is whack. Yeah, that's it. Figure it out.